What's up everybody, Tiankum here with Soya Quilting. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how you make this scrap filled dog bed. Let's get started. So I've already gone ahead and pre-cut my fabric, but what you'll need to do at home is this piece right here is a yard wide by 24 inches tall. And all I've done is just made a round curve in it. It doesn't matter what the angle is here and you can leave it just as is a, as a rectangle and it'll work the same. And I've cut out the exact same shape in Minky as well. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna lay them both right sides together. Now that I have them right sides together, we're going to sew about a half inch seam all the way around this, but we're gonna leave about a seven inch opening here at the top. So I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine. So now that I've gone all the way around, what I'm going to do is if I had any excess around, I'm going to go ahead and take a pair of scissors and trim that off. And so I'm going to just start on this side and I can see I've got a little bit extra here. I'm going to just trim this off. So now what we need to do with this hole being open, we're going to take the corners here and we're going to pull it through, making it right sides facing. Poke out all the corners here. The reason why that we have to make this hole so big is because straps, unlike batting, don't just go right into a right into these projects. So you have to leave it a little bit bigger, that way you can get your arm all the way in there and be able to flatten everything out. Our next step is to go around the edge all the way around, again, about that half inch seam, all the way around, but we're not going to close up this hole. So we want to start on where we started in the beginning and go all the way around. So I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine. So now that we have this sewn with that half inch top stitch all the way around, what's next is we're gonna take a piece of cotton cording or some kind of rope, any kind of scrap piece of material that we have laying around the house, and we're gonna fish it all the way through this dog bed. What this is gonna allow us to do is to bring up the edges so it looks just like a dog bed. So I'm gonna take this and just start weaving it through. And for my project, half an inch is plenty for this quarter inch cotton tubing. So I'm gonna just fish it all the way around. Now that we have our rope all the way through our dog bed here, what well the next step is, is we're gonna sew a little square or rectangle on top of here with an opening facing the same direction as our other two seven inch openings. So we're gonna take this over to the sewing machine and we want there to be about a five inch, six inch um, border essentially all the way around. And I'll show you what I mean here in just one second. So I'm gonna take this over to the sewing machine And I'm going to sew, essentially I'm gonna mimic the shape of my dog bed in the center. That way I have like a stuffing pad and a border pad. And I'll show you what I mean here in just one second. So now that I have my cotton cording in and I've now just sewn a oval on the inside of my dog bed here, which will be the actual bed for the dog. I just left, or I stayed away from my edge here about five to six inches all the way around when I sewed it. What our next step is, is now to start stuffing this dog bed, which is two parts. The very first part is to get our scraps and we're gonna start stuffing them in the seven inch hole that we have on this side. Okay. Right here are just some of our some of our scraps from the store. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start stuffing this. So I'm gonna take a handful and I'm gonna stuff it right through. And we want to put all this stuffing in the center portion of our dog bed. So as you can see here, right here in the center, I've got about four inches worth of scraps stuffed in here. I'm just going to make sure it's all spread out nice and even. And I'm gonna take this over then to my sewing machine and seal off this center hole. Now, 
with the edges here. I have some leftover polyfill from one of the other projects that I've done. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fill up this outer border or this outer ring with some polyfill. So I happen to have all this polyfill here and I'm gonna stuff this all the way around. The reason why I want this border to begin with so big so we can get our hand all the way around. So I'm gonna take some and I'm gonna start stuffing it. And you wanna to try to get it as far back to the back as you can. Now that we have this outer ring completely stuffed, what we're going to do here is where our little pull strings are, we're gonna pinch down on top of them, just like this, and we're gonna close up this hole. What we're gonna do is we're gonna sew directly across them without sewing in our strings. So I'm gonna take this over to our sewing machine here, and we're gonna just do a little top stitch right across. Now I'm gonna just smooth everything out a little bit here. And then we're gonna pull on these drawstrings, which is going to lift up all the edges here. And we're gonna help it along as we're going. And then once we have the desired shape that, that we're looking for, we're going to tie our two strings together. I'm gonna make a little bow here. So I just finished up tying our bow, and just like that, our dog bed is finished. This is a super fun project to make, and it's a really good way to get rid of all your scraps. Also, dog charities do accept these, so it's a great thing if you wanna to donate to the animal shelters, this is a great project to make. As always, if you've liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. I'm gonna leave instructions on how to make this in the description below. My name's Tiankum, teaching how to sew like a pro. We'll see you here next week at Soya Quilting.